Hi, this is Joel, and this is a guide to electronic throttle valve mapping in the Woolwich Racing software for the 2016 onwards ZX10. So the electronic throttle valve maps are located in other maps, and it's up here in the drop down menu, electronic throttle valve. We have access to full power mode, medium power mode, and low power mode, and also per gear adjustment of electronic throttle valve. So first I'll explain a bit about the electronic throttle valves themselves and how they're different. In the ZX10 software that was developed by Kawasaki, these values here are a percentage of your TPS. So we have 0 to 100% TPS and 1000 to 14000 RPM. So this value here doesn't mean we're at 100% open, it's 100% of the 20% TPS. So in fact we're at 20% open TPS. If we come up here to 2500, 50% of 20 is 10. So that's 10%. So as we can see, it slowly works its way up to the full 20% of commanded TPS. So that's very important when you're tuning. Uh, it can be slightly confusing, but once you get your head around it, it's, um, it's pretty simple. Um, then we've got per gear ETV adjustment. This is really good for the race guys. You might find there might be bike might be wheeling too much in second gear so you can come around here and, and dial your power down um, you might even like the throttle a bit more aggressive if you're coming out of a corner in, in fourth gear and you need the, the power there so you can just adjust your ETV uh, to suit so as we can see here um, around 8,000 rpm well just to say 6,000 rpm um, it's 75 cent TPS but you know we're half that just uh, just over 30 35% and 37% TPS. So we can see that we're not getting much much throttle response here. So this is something to be aware of too when you when you tune the ETV maps. Um, how do we make the changes? Well, we can select a whole group of cells or some individual cells by pressing Control and clicking the mouse. And once you've made these changes. You can go to set value, we can change these to 50, or we can add a percentage, subtract percentages, add, add and subtract full values, subtracting, adding, and you can change whatever you like here as well. Now once you've made it, I'll just do an obvious change here. This is just for reference only. Once you made your changes, you can look in your 3D graph. And the 3D graph won't give you a true representation as, as the ETVs are a percentage of the TPS, but you can see obvious errors like this here. So if you have made your map changes and when you're looking at this, sometimes all the numbers can all blend in, it's a good thing just to go to your 3D graph. And as we can see here, we've got a massive big peak in the map. So that wouldn't be very smooth to ride. So it's very good to, once you've made your changes, to have a look at your 3D map. So that's the introduction, and thank you very much for watching.